We'll go ahead and inspect the battery now. So this is an unprotected battery. Okay, so today I wanna to show you about the new um, puncture-proof CVXR. Um, and to demonstrate what we mean, we have a clear CVXR here. Um, and if you check out right here, we have these um, steel plates on each side where the two puncture points are. Um, and this protects against uh, the wrong screw install that um, some people have had problems with in the past. So this is the stock screw that is supposed to be installed. This is where the foot pad would be and you'd be standing right on top. So she's a very, very short screw. This medium sized screw is the longest screw that comes stock on the board. This is a screw that, you know, you could potentially insert it and, and, and nick the side of the battery. And this is an extreme situation of the largest, the longest aftermarket screw that we add on hand. I would never recommend doing this on purpose. Once we start getting in, it starts to push the plastic out of the way. And right about now is when we start to hit the battery. If the protection plate wasn't there, this would have certainly punctured the battery. We'll go ahead and inspect the battery now. So this is an unprotected battery. Now I wanna cut this battery open and show you the sustained damage to the battery itself. This is the steel plate right out here. We'll cut under the steel plate. And there's no damage to the battery whatsoever. This is fish paper underneath that insulates the plate from the battery. There's no damage at all. There's a little bit of a dent on the steel plate right there. But that's all. Battery's perfectly healthy. Wouldn't be any problem at all. If we didn't have these steel plates here, we would have had a, a very catastrophic situation on our hands. Even if we were to do something even more extreme than that, we do have cell level fusing and a main fuse built into the battery. So we protect against 99% of potential failure points. That's all good.